she inhabited a world of glamour and show business. But beneath the smiling facade lurked the darkest of secrets, hidden until now. Discover why they're saying, once you read it, you'll never forget it. A gripping, fast-paced insider's look at an underworld she knew only too well. Georgia Durante is an inspiration. A true story, the company she keeps. From Celebrity Books. From the time I was a little girl, I just, I had this uh, appetite for danger and excitement. Lights, camera, action, it gets exciting. Money in the bank, how could I? The woman in our next story lives on adrenaline. Whether you're talking about her current profession or her infamous criminal past, she's always traveled a road with dangerous twists and turns. I would see a policeman and I just knew, you know, we had to be anonymous. We were very impressed in the way she uh, stuck to what she was supposed to be doing. That's driving the car, not asking any questions. First, we'll take a ride with a former mafia princess whose skills as a getaway driver have made her a success in Hollywood. I don't know any other woman that would take this type of a risk, and I don't even know many guys that uh, uh, have really come up with things that I've asked Georgia to do. She's a rare person. She just loves this element of danger she puts herself into constantly, and I think she thrives on it. The adrenaline when it's over is, God, I mean, it's just, it's such a great feeling to, to look at the footage and feel that you've accomplished that. I don't know what it is. I really don't know what it is, but it's something I know I need. I mean, it's, it's a rush that I can't go without for a long time without having to fill it. She was married to the mob and survived to write about it. Georgia Durante tells an outstanding life story in The Company She Keeps. From Brooklyn, New York, it's Mafia Week on Politically Incorrect with Bill Maher. You got a problem with that? Tonight, from The Sopranos, Vincent Pastor, NIAF spokesperson John Cavalli. Author A.J. Benza and former mob show for Georgia Durante. And now, perfectly legitimate businessman, Bill Maher! From a model to a mob chauffeur to a Hollywood stunt driver, her memoir is The Company She Keeps. There it is right there. Georgia Durant. Right? There's no E on that. I'm Thank you very much for being here. I'm afraid I mispronounce the names, I get killed. We're now talking about the real life mob in, in the mob mm -hmm. in New York City. Why didn't you stay a mob chick? <laughs> well, I didn't know that's what I, what I was. From mafia wife to mother to stunt driver, you could say this woman has done it all. From Channel 6, WRGV. She is a stunt woman, model, actress with a lifetime of experiences behind her that we could only dream of. But in her new book... Georgia Durante is one of Hollywood's top stunt drivers. She's had a lot of practice behind the wheel. Georgia used to drive getaway cars for the mob. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. You will be the stunt double for your yeah. character in the movie. I'll wow. be doubling yeah. a woman who's doubling for me. We do meet a lot of interesting people on Midday News. And today we introduce you to Georgia Durante. She's in town shooting a TV commercial. Oh. You know, think it's a hot show. It's very realistic. It I, is, I think it, it shows is. family life. I think it shows the funny part. Those guys are funny. The Godfather, oh, come on. actually, but I don't know why you say the, the mob yeah. patterned themselves after they, that movie. Exactly. Absolutely. More right. Italians that pay people's bills when they're sick than kick someone's ass when they're not sick. That's what I think. That's what very I'm saying true. is our emotions jump out like they that. They have very good hearts. We're warm-hearted well. You know, you people. see the We're bad part. I don't have a temper. But you don't really see the good part on well, TV, like you said. Well, kick the help you up, is what I'm saying. They do have good Listen heart. to the woman. But Listen I don't have a heart. Even when you see them getting whacked on The Sopranos, that also shows how 
bad that people world is. People get killed is. in wars. Yeah. And I'll tell you but, something. But, but I'm, not, no. I'm not saying that it's but bad. But you know it's happening. Every day. You know this is not a war. Just because they call themselves soldiers. That's not a war out there? That's a war out there. I don't know where you come from, but that's a war out there. It's a war. You didn't know what was going on? Yes, you do know. Well, you don't, you're never told. But you, you know, can figure you it pick out. up things, absolutely. Yeah. Well, then, but if you're participating in it, that's a different exactly. story. Not but they know what's going on. All right, you said you can't get out of a mob marriage. You did. Didn't you get out of one? I did. I so did. how'd you do it? 121 <laughs> pitches. <laughs> no, no. Yeah. She put no. up right? the record. That's Through the help of the FBI. Oh, oh, who's a rat over here? No, I didn't rat. I didn't you rat. Know. The book is The Company She Keeps. We'll be right back with the... Incredible story of Georgia Durante and then Jeff Greenfield. Don't go away. You're a young girl at this point, I'm right? I'm 18 years yeah. old. 18, 19 Do you years think, old. why am I in this and should I get out? Um, yeah, well, when I realized what was going on, that's when I knew that I had to start pulling away from it. But prior to that, that was very exciting. And not really knowing what they were doing was even more exciting. You know, the intrigue, the power of that world. I was I was very drawn to that as a kid. You know, when I was 12 years old, I hopped a freight train and ran away from home, not because I wanted to run away, because I wanted to see what was out there. I wanted you to are see where the action adventuresome. Was. Yeah. So you pay a price <laughs> for that, right? Uh, yes. Well, you also told me that that a woman read your book and didn't commit suicide. Oh yeah, I I got uh, an email a couple of months ago. Well, I get several emails of women who have changed their entire lives after reading the book, but this one really got to me. This girl um, wrote me and said that she was going to kill herself that weekend. And she worked at a radio station, and I had done a show there. She hadn't heard the show, but the book was lying around there. So she took the book home and started reading it. And she said, if I had not read this book, she said, I wouldn't be here to be writing you today. She said, you made me see that I was worth something. And if you can do it with what you were up against, I can do it. And then she signed her name, Nicole, with a small N, which I, I emailed her back. And I said, first thing you got to do is capitalize your name. And then you're going to get some self-esteem. Yeah, you're not kidding. That's a great story. Yes, it is. It is. To, you know, to, to know that it's actually saved someone's life. It must be awfully difficult being attached to someone in the mob, whether you're driving the car or not. Just part of that life. I mean, well, you're not brought into any of the know, secrets. It's kind of barefoot, pregnant, and in the kitchen. That's the way most women in that world are treated. I was treated a little differently, but when I was actually married to someone in that world, then I became his, his possession. It was almost like he was the victim, not me. And how? You mean at the trial? Yeah. And what that did to me psychologically, and here I am appearing on covers of magazines, I had no self-esteem. It just tore me apart. And my husband was 15 years older than I was. And knowing, you know, instead of trying to pull me out of that black hole that I was in, he kept me there because he was insecure, which I realized after writing my book, what, the whys of all this. I had never questioned what had happened to me in my life. Is he still living? No, he's dead. What you do know? you do now with your experimental nature? Or did that change? Are you still a risk oh, taker? Yes, I am. I, I have to have that in my life. So you have to have drama. Yeah, I am, I am actually getting away from that a little bit. I find that I love writing. And that's I will, that's you know. A, it's cathartic, right? Are you going to oh, do another yeah. book? I am doing another book. I'm doing a book about uh, Morton Downey Jr.'s life. You were friends with him? Yes. Thanks, Georgia. Thanks. Georgia Durante. What a life. Mm -hmm. The Company She Keeps is the book. The website is www.performance2.com. Jeff Greenfield, my buddy, is next. Don't go away. Georgia has a deal to write more books, and she'd like to write one about her boyfriend a former mob prosecutor who actually put some of her friends away. Amazing story. Wow. Right now that is a life. <laughs> it yeah, sure is. Yeah. Beautiful yeah. lady. It is really yeah. gorgeous. Wheel Woman wants the picture of innocence. Model Georgia Durante sped her way from the mob chauffeur to Hollywood's stunt driver to the stars. We have a clip of you in the movie Love to Kill, and you are driving the truck. Here it is. Georgia Durante hopes to become a voice for other battered women. She wants them to realize that they too can pull themselves out of a bad situation. Georgia Durante's life can best be summed up in four words. Been there, done that. What an amazing life. Incredible. It really does sound like a movie, doesn't it? 
Well, her life sounds a lot like a movie from the glamour of Hollywood and modeling to the dark side of the mafia. Georgia Durante tells all in her new book. You're about to meet a woman who was not only married to the mob, she admits she helped them commit crimes, and she lived to talk about it. Phil Schumann has the story in this extra exclusive. Your life's been a series of disasters. Yeah, one right after another. I want you in the car with me, Roseanne. Okay. <laughs> Are we going now? I'm ready. Okay. George is going to get behind the wheel and show us what she can do. Hmm, very interesting. Well, the book is The Company She Keeps, about uh, somebody who is married to a low-level mob guy, and I think it's a cautionary tale. Well, you know what? Her life story sounds like a Susan Lucci movie of the week. And that's probably part of what the book was. Who says you can't reinvent yourself? <laughs> You're right. Welcome, Georgia Durante. The most amazing life. Hey, Georgia, do you have exquisite bad taste in men? I could have been the first Elena Bobbitt, <laughs> but I missed by two inches. Oh, you really went for the yeah. sword? You yeah. did. I gave him 121 stitches. You did? My God, we're from the front. Hopefully, the guys just have a sword on the wall. I hope there's no sword on the wall. Yeah. <laughs> Georgia says. She's going to send her sword to the White House. Sammy says he's going to have the rapist killed. I needed to okay it. And I just, I couldn't do that. I just couldn't be responsible for someone's life. But Georgia does seek out the safety of Sammy's world. He would just throw $500 chips to whoever was there. We'd have lavish dinners. That was the glamour part of the mob. But the violent part ultimately scares her away. The mystique of that world drew me in. I craved excitement. Some women want a taste of that unknown. Henry Hill was the original good fella. The subject of the book and movie. My first glimmer into this was when we had Georgia on for this book, The Company She Keeps. And I must tell you, I couldn't stop reading it. It fascinated me. It horrified me. It shocked me. We've got a real-life mob wife who will give you all the inside dirt on organized crime. Georgia Durante is here. Hot Please ticket. welcome to our show, Georgia Durante. <laughs> I really don't know what to say about this next clip. Um, it's Roseanne, and her guests are David Provel from The Sopranos and author and former mob wife, Georgia Durrani. You can't get out of the mob, can you, ever? Well, you're... you're... <laughs> <laughs> Once you're in, you can never get out! Mm. Can you? Well, there's something to be said about that. You think the CIA knows these things about the mob? <laughs> Is the mob the same it's, thing no, no, as no, the no, CIA? Not. It's what... The mob knows about the CIA. That that's the problem. Because I know they have right. planted a chip in my right. tooth. Did you hear what? That is monitored by Barbara Walters. <laughs> Let's just forget. <laughs> <you here. laughs> Only one of these people is the real Georgia Durante, and has sworn to tell the truth. Will the real Georgia Durante please stand up? Oh, you want to like you, Beth. And, George, I understand you also have published a book. Yes, about the company I kept. The company that you kept, which they have given me. And, and there you are. The company she keeps, Georgia Durante. Georgia Durante has written a gripping, fast-paced insider's look at the underworld as only she knew too well. Congratulations. Now in her new book, she reveals all the details of what it's like to be married to the mob. While a fashion model in New York, she was initiated and eventually married into the underworld of violence and crime. You do a little uh, money laundering, yeah. delivery, cargo planes to the mob. and Yes, um, and I didn't know at that time what was in it. ...becoming head of Hollywood's most prestigious stunt driving company, and her story is an example of how courage can help 
weather the most incredible hardships. It is all told in a brand new book, which you see up there on the screen, called The Company That She Keeps. And it's a pleasure to welcome Georgia Durante to our show. Thanks for coming. The company she kept could make federal agents shiver in fear. They were some of the biggest names in organized crime. And Georgia Durante was innocently lured into their underworld. O.J. Simpson, mm -hmm. Hertz commercial. What was your reaction to him? Everybody's going, Whoa. Well, we did, we, we did uh, one commercial where we had six cars crisscrossing, and he was in the middle, you know, trying to run mm -hmm. to the airport. Should have hit him, now that I think about it. Good morning, Deborah Duncan. It is an amazing story. Georgia was a young beauty who fell in love with a mobster. She married into a life of violence. Her husband tried to kill her, her brother-in-law raped her, and she was running from the law. But she escaped and is now ready to tell her true story. First, meet Georgia Durante. She tells her story of emotional blackmail in her book. Actor, stunt woman, Georgia Durante. She is a former model and mafia wife. Interesting career definition. Who's currently one of Hollywood's most sought after stunt women, major driver. Her autobiography is called The Company She Keeps. Here's Georgia Durante. Hi, Georgia. How are you? You don't see that in the movies. You, yeah. you see the mob glamorized, and then you see them, you know, killing people. But you don't see who they really are, and how a young person can be attracted to that. A gangster's girlfriend and another's wife, who spent most of her life in the shadows of the underworld. And I just gave her all the all the trash to handle. I was raped at that point, and that was really the basis of um, a lot of the bad choices that I made in my life. He actually held me out of a two-story building by my ankles and was threatening to drop me if I didn't say I would stay. He put a gun to my head with one bullet in it and pulled the trigger twice. Well, you know, I needed to say, hey, rough. I don't need you. So basically, I don't the guy money. was doing you a favor. Well, he did. You walked out with he a lead did. foot and a lot of determination. <laughs> well, I was later told that there were millions of dollars in those packages. Mm -hmm. And, um, and you, I would, you I look would like such an all-American <laughs> woman here. So innocent. She, she Martha is, Stewart. She, right. She's, she is the epitome of innocence. She's no one would ever pull you over thinking that you were uh, transporting millions of dollars. Exactly. That was the point. Well, that was their yeah. point, that right? Was the exactly. Point. The ultimate irony of Georgia's story is who she's now dating, an ex-chief of the L.A. strike force for organized crime. It's just another chapter in the life of this survivor. We ended up pounding on strangers' doors, trying to find anywhere just to get away, and other times we've sleep in the car, other times we'd sleep on the beach and go see movies. And I, said, I mean, it's heartbreaking, really. Yes, it did. Exactly what I pictured him sitting in a lot of dark room, rotting away. And, this, and then he shot himself. Okay. The world really didn't, didn't miss him, you know? I mean, he was not a very nice man. And we were the only two that were mourning his death, and we were the ones that he hurt the most. And we looked at each other and said, Tony, we better go to therapy. <laughs> the same courage that made her a great getaway driver for the mob has made her an equal success in Hollywood. She could have been somebody's uh, queen for the rest of her life, you know? I mean, if she chose that, you know, if she you know, chose to be controlled by those people, for her to break from that, it's extraordinary. After years of keeping her bizarre life a secret, Durante's story is now helping other women. I've been getting calls to, to speak at women's organizations, and uh, I, I think maybe this is what I was supposed to do. Being recognized as a real-life heroine with a new book and outlook on life, Durante is once again sitting right in the driver's seat. I didn't start living my life until I finished this book. It made me look at what had happened, and now yeah, the, there's just a whole new world that's opened up to me. But she's still flying high on the ground and in the air from the adrenaline rushes she can't live without. Fear is just not part of her life anymore. You know, I've had guns to my head so many times in my life and have escaped death, even through my work. I mean, I just, if, if I'm going to die, I'm going to die. You know, it's, I can't be afraid to die. It's just, it's, been, it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. Well, I know her personally. 
And what I think of is everything that's in that book, you know, she did it. First of all, she's a very honest person. Georgia was one of the finest, still is, uh, stunt ladies in our business, which means uh, I'm talking about stunts that are paid for and, uh, in films and TV and so forth. And she was very brave, courageous, and bold. It take me much to shoot Buddy Hackett. I love Buddy Hackett. Hey, this a, this a, I love Buddy This is a talking picture. <laughs> I love Georgia Durant. I enjoy reading it, especially knowing something about her, uh, her background, her past, her really. And I think she's done a great, uh, great job in overcoming that. <laughs> My wife thinks I got a crush on her, but it's a real fool in love with her. <laughs> I just. He's my favorite person. In the whole I never even took Viagra till I start thinking about it. <laughs> and she's a, a class lady. And that's the main thing. From wheel woman to the mob to real woman, no doubt Georgia Durante is now on the right track.